Hi, so whenever I travel for a festival, I try and watch a current movie to gripe about on my first night in town. So here I am in Glasgow for Tectonics, and last night I went to see The Fall Guy, and there's nothing to say about it. Don't look at the timestamp, literally nothing to say. Uh, there are some impressive stunts in it. But really nothing much beyond that. It's an efficient machine that uh, hits all the points it's supposed to, but it remains um, an emotionally unengaging bore. Um, the plot is rote, the script is cliched, the performances exist. Uh, they don't drag you out of the film, but I have no point of identification with any of the, the broader drawn characters uh, who were played like they would be in any other action film. Um, lines are delivered, um, expressions are displayed, all of them conform to what they should be and they don't clash with each other, they don't clash with what the film's trying to do, but there's no great subtlety or depth. Um, that's not the fact for the actors. It's what happens when you have uh, a flat script, a boring story, a uh, direction that's really only interested in getting from point A to point B, and you're making an expensive product competing with other expensive products based on a TV series, better left forgotten. Ah. So, I had a vague sense, um, subsequently confirmed uh, by reading up on it, that uh, this was supposed to be a, an action comedy, and it, it isn't funny. There's, there's no effective slapstick, there's no uh, quickfire banter, there's no farce. There are things that vaguely resemble these, like half-remembered stories told by someone without the, the recall, the vocabulary, or the charisma to capture them. Uh, so it, it's, it's often said that you should never reference a better film in, in your shitty movie. Um, the Fall Guy does that a lot. But it's not as much to its detriment, actually, as you might think. Um, because this, the echoes are so faint and lacklustre, the, the films it chooses are already so uh, mediocre, so obvious, that the way that referencing is approached, like the comedy, is so routine that while you notice that is what it's doing, you're never engaged, you're never surprised, you're never energised by it. It's, it's just there. Um, the Fall Guy thinks it has a rom-com somewhere inside. And, I mean, I guess it does, technically, if, if, you, if you squint. Uh, um, I mean, if the rom inside it were in any way convincing, if it seemed to carry any emotional or other personal consequence for the leads, or, or if the con were you know, actually funny, as I've already covered. Um, I, hell, I'd even have settled for the con aspect being uh, cathartic within the limitations of what the film was doing. Uh, but still, the film decides to talk about rom-coms and to name-check Notting Hill and Love Actually specifically. Uh, unfortunately, it does so while being witless and charmless and with such anemic chemistry between the leads and with such flimsy motivations for their actions that even when we're just told directly, we simply don't care. Uh, so surely, 
surely there's something here. Filmmaking flair, perhaps. Uh, no, N no to both of those. There's nothing here, there's no filmmaking flair. Uh, it, it tries a thing with split screen that is so clunky and obvious and with so much repeat of an earlier scene dialogue wise that it could easily be cut or trimmed. Uh, some of the stunt sequences are shot well. Uh, nothing you haven't seen done better in Mad Max Fury Road or recent Bond movies or elsewhere. Um, but, you know, they're shot well. Uh, the fight scenes, they're, they're American. They go for the effect of crunch and weight. And they aren't very fluid. Um, my personal preference has always been more towards uh, Hong Kong movies and martial arts films where the fight sequences can be inventive, nimble, fun, and often very funny, and which can even sometimes serve to advance plot or more likely character. These don't noticeably do that. Um, if you like beefy dudes crunching together and moving awkwardly while speed ramping and sound effects and the soundtrack try to convince you that this is a bruising punch-up, you might not be bored. I was. At bored, that is. Um, it also tries to show a, a film within a film. Uh, part of the conceit is that Emily Blunt is making a film and that she previously had an affair with Ryan Gosling and he's been brought back in to uh, act as a stunt performer after being out of contact with Emily Blunt and that they're sort of supposed to be uh, sparking their relationship again. Um, none of which is convincing, but anyway, uh, this is... Uh, talking about a film within a film, uh, a sort of bit of filmmaking flair that they're trying to do. So we're shown uh, sequences of the film within a film being filmed, and then we're shown what it might look like on the, the big screen. In fact, uh, it's reversed. You, you see the big screen scene, and then you see uh, the film in a, within a film being filmed. It's not very interestingly done. It's not massively original. And it doesn't really add a great deal. I suppose that's where some of the comedy is meant to come from. But yeah. And uh, there really isn't much more to say. There's a credit sequence showing some of the stunts and some of the stunt performers as they're being performed. So I guess another level of meta uh, beyond this film and the film within the film here where you get to see the making of the film that we've just watched and I would have found a two hour film about the stunt performers, their lives the making of the film, all the preparation that goes into successfully uh, and safely completing a stunt uh, I would have found that much more interesting than uh, what I'd just sat through but the full guy decided to relegate that to a few minutes, tugging itself off while half the audience left. There's uh, a post-credit cameo with Lee Majors and Heather Thomas from the 1980s TV series this is based on. Uh, I know this from Wikipedia. I never saw the series. I don't really know either actor, but they're so disconnected from the rest of the film. They look so weird and out of place in their roles and they have so little to do uh, generally that it could only be a cameo um, and it makes the MCU's Stan Lee cameos look um, subtle in comparison what else Jason Momoa shows up near the end for, for some reason he doesn't contribute a great deal he, he's there he's, 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 he's okay um, the director David Leach uh, co-directed John Wick 
which is a far better film in, in all departments. You, you'd be much better off going and watching that. Uh, it's silly and disposable, but it, it, it is a better use of your time. Um, uh, David Leach comes from a background in stunt performing and coordinating. Uh, his other films since John Wick have been effective entertainments. Uh, not deep, but effective and entertaining. Uh, the writer, Drew Pierce, also has some okay credits to his name. Nothing I'd ever want to watch again or praise for its writing, but no obvious stinkers. Uh, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt are fine as the leads. The supporting cast all turn up and do their job. And that's kind of the problem. The four guy is efficient. It's good enough. It does its job and fucks off, leaving the smallest of ripples. Um, I will credit the movie for having actual stunts and practical effects and minimal CGI, but you do not need to see this film. Uh, maybe stick it on when it comes to streaming and you're in the middle of a long, boring chore that doesn't require your full attention. It's the kind of thing uh, I would possibly stick on while I'm doing some batch cooking for the week and then instantly forget about it. Months later, I would look at my uh, Netflix recommendations and think, have I seen that? I, I really don't remember anything that happens in it. Um, today I do because I've set myself the task of writing a review and because it was less than 24 hours ago by the end of this weekend. I have no fucking idea what happened with, with it. So, yeah. Um, that's The Fall Guy. Uh, if you loved it, good for you. I didn't. All right. See you soon. Bye.